Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Medell Effect, as I usually say. This is Harmony speaking, and this is a State of the Union address. Today is December 7th, 2016. It is 12.04 a.m. <clears throat> Uh, this is a very critical message, very important. Uh, hopefully you've seen my other State of the Union addresses, so you'll be up to speed and know what we're talking about. It's an update on what's going on in, in the universe. <clears throat> um, this video is going to go on my, I believe it's the One Harmony Medell Effect channel. And I think the State of the Union videos are on my other channel. Which is one, I'm sorry, which is Harmony Mandela Effect. So go to YouTube and search Harmony Mandela Effect and uh, look for the State of the Union videos. But this is um, on my uh, one Harmony Mandela Effect channel. So you know where to find the, the updates. I need to clear my mind, so I'm going to sing a song that I haven't sung for you folks in public. Oh, price. Oh, anyway. Om Narashitra Rahashitro. Translated into English, that means now is the time. Teach the whole world. Teach them. I am, um, to be transparent, don't want to make this video. <laughs> I've, been, I've been asked to uh, make this video public and give everybody an update. Because it's rather controversial. And we're going to address tonight, or I guess technically it's morning. The, um, the state of the human mind and the issues that we are having as a collective consciousness with the beings who exist here on planet Earth. The veil's been lifted and you, to put it in human terms, you experience this as the Mandela effect. And the veil is going to be lifted one more time. However, we're running into some issues. The issue is human beings have a tendency, not all, but some, have a tendency by nature to hold on to things. When a human being has been wronged, I have a hard time with forgiveness and unconditional love and acceptance and to simply let go. Many of you are aware that have, there have been grave transgressions that have been made in physical form, but more importantly on the spiritual realm as well. This place was designed with, with a certain purpose, and as many of you know, it has been taken over and hijacked by certain species that do not have your best interests at heart. In essence, you have been treated the, the same way. This may give, have a little bit of ouch and a hurt factor, but it's important that you hear the message. The same way humans treat cows and chickens and pigs as food, these beings have basically have done the same thing to you. You are not at the top of the food chain. Very far from it. And these beings treat human beings like cattle, chickens, and pigs. Unintended. 
And because you have been treated so wrongly, because you have been fooled and cast spells have been cast upon you, and you've been uh, cut off from Source, God, Creator, you feel that the uh, a grave injustice has been done. Much like the cow, if he could speak, would say, I demand justice, and I want all human beings to die. Not only do I want them to die, I want them to suffer the way I've suffered. Do you understand? In the same way, these other species have done the same thing. Some of you call them greys, reptilians, dracos, etc., etc., on down the line. And now that the veil has been lifted, you see as a humanity an opportunity to round them up, put them on trial, expose them for what they have done, and to judge them and find them guilty and to punish them. So, this is where we're at. However, what purpose does that serve? For example, when a human being murders your family and then that person is brought to trial, humans believe that there's this thing called closure by trying the person and the person is found guilty and they're put in prison for the rest of their lives or executed. And somehow they think this brings them peace. And you've all seen on the news and they, they act like they have peace. But you don't see what happens behind the closed doors. You don't have, see what happens beyond that. It does not bring them peace. It does not bring them closure. It simply does not. Killing someone who killed someone you love, killing for killing, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. This is um, a very old belief system that simply is not true. It doesn't bring about the peace and the resolution that the victim is seeking, however they think it does. Because we have been trained and brought up in the system where justice will be served. We demand justice. We demand it. However, you, if you are able to step outside the box and look in, you understand that none of those things are true. What that does is it further entraps you and keeps you in the loop going around, 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 and spinning like a rat on a little wheel, only to be exhausted. And this is where we're at. Humanity, human beings, have to come to a place of understanding. They need to understand that by holding the accusers, the ones that have done the wrong against them, the ones that have caused the injustice, by holding them accountable and wanting to try them, they are keeping them trapped here. The very same beings that you want to be brought to justice, the very same beings that you want to leave and to leave you alone and to no longer exist, by holding on to these, this anger and these emotions, in reality, on the highest level, you are keeping them trapped here. You are preventing them from leaving. And in essence, you are continuing the system that you want to go away. By holding on to these emotions, these, these negative emotions, you're preventing them from leave, leaving and you're keeping them trapped here to continue to do the things against you that you no longer tolerate and you no longer stand for. 
and because you don't free yourself from this and because you want to hold them accountable the key word is hold you want to hold them accountable you're holding them here does this make sense the key is to have forgiveness to have unconditional love and in that state of mind you free them more importantly you free yourself you free yourself first and then you free them and then they go away as long as you want to hold on to this belief system where they have to be held here and held accountable and to be tortured or tormented and pay for their crimes then they don't leave they continue to stay and the same old thing happens over and over again like a merry-go-round going around and around some of the horses go up and down some are stationary but nevertheless it's a merry-go-round that goes around and around and around so do you want to stay on the merry-go-round do you want to keep going around in circles well, obviously you don't so we are here to teach you how to get off the merry-go-round the way to get off the merry-go-round to stop the system to free yourself from this entrapment from this grave injustice as you say is to simply let go trust that there are beloved beings in the universe trust that there is a creator some, some, some of you say God use any language you want there is a force outside of yourself that is in complete control of everything and that force wants to come in and intervene and interdict in your life and free you from all this the issue we're having is we can't because we have to obey free will the universal law and as long as you want to hold on to these beliefs as long as you want to hold on to the system as long as you want to keep them accountable and to pay for their crimes you are in essence trapping them you are trapping them here you are preventing them from leaving you are preventing reality from evolving and rising as you say a higher vibrational frequency to rising to a higher dimension rising to a more peaceful state where you can be free finally and be left to your own free will because free will has been stripped and taken away from you whether you realize it or not <clears throat> it has and then when you realize it then you become angry angry does not serve you there's no purpose in anger so we are asking you the blevin beings of the universe the high councils are simply saying let go let go of this mundane lower vibrational lower dimensional attitude where these beings have to be rounded up taken to court tried and held accountable no we're not saying they're not going to be held accountable that's where you're wrong we're saying that your methods don't work your methods keep you in the box and keep you trapped and bouncing against the walls and the ceilings and just bouncing around and around and around and going cuckoo crazy, hair standing up and complete insanity. And this is why this has continued on and on and on and on. But now the veil is being lifted and we need you to rise up and come to a state of understanding that is just simply time to let go forgive them have unconditional love 
and simply free yourself and let them go and say goodbye. Once this is accomplished, then the universe will take over and deal with them and take them to another place where they belong. As long as you're going to hold on these belief systems and keep, you are in essence keeping them trapped here. And this is the problem we're having. This is the issue we're having. You are keeping them trapped here. So we are asking you, the universe, the beloved beings, the high councils, to simply free yourself. Is that not what you want? Do you not want to be free? Of course you want to be free. You just don't know how. You don't know how to do it. So here we are to tell you how to do it. We're here to teach you. Let go. Free yourself. And then you free them. If you want to hold on to them, then you are holding on to them. You're holding them here. You can't, they can't leave. They can't go, they can't get out of your hair. They can't leave you alone. They can't stop what they're doing. They can't stop screwing you over and doing the horrendous things to you and treating you like food because you are in essence trapping them here and holding them here. Now we have said that four times. Are you getting the message? Is it coming through? Are you hearing it? Jesus Christ said, he who has ears, let him hear. Are you hearing? Do you have ears? God gave you two ears so you could listen. So, humanity, as a collective consciousness, stop the game, because it's a game. You need to end this game, and you need to stop it. But they know the rules, and then they, they know how you feel. And they're using you to keep them here. You are keeping them here. So simply forgive and let go, and let them go. And trust the Creator, trust the universe to deal with them. Let go, humans. Let go, humanity. Let them be free and let the universe deal with it. It is not for you to deal with. It is not for you to handle. It is not for you to be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. That is simply not your job. If you want to make your job, which you are doing, then things will continue and they won't evolve. And you will not be free. And you will not go to the higher realms, the higher dimensions, where you have peace, love, harmony, and freedom, and free will. We apologize for repeating ourselves. Apparently it's necessary. But by now, hopefully you understand the message. And this is the message. So, if you understand this message, and you're willing to let go, and let the universe deal with them, then simply say yes. I free myself in the comments. Cast your vote. I understand. Say I understand. I agree. And I free myself from the system. I let go of the ones who have done harm to me and done horrible things and have transgressed against me. I free them, I free myself, and I will experience nothing but freedom, love, peace, joy, harmony, and the highest realms. You don't have to understand it, perhaps, but your spirit, your intuition, say, you know, you may not agree with it, but just say, intuitively, I agree that this must happen in order to change reality. I wish to change reality. I wish to be free. So free yourselves. And you can begin in the comments by casting your vote, saying, I choose to be free and let go and experience the abundance of the universe and love, peace, and good night.